Facebook and YouTube should be up momentarily. Okay. And we have um, 9.54, do we? We're going to get this puppy a rolling. And for those of you out here early today, good morning. Good morning. Hope you have a great day out in Bridge World, wherever you find yourself today. Midnight downtown. Midnight downtown, is that what they say? Midnight downtown. Yeah, that's what they said. Felt like that's when we got up this morning to get some photos. Yeah. The weather's so weird. No orange today, though. No orange yet. Go big orange. We're living in a time where everything's subject to change. Even change. Subject to change. Speaking of change. Which universe are you living in? Mars, apparently. <laughs> uh, let's see. I thought men were from Mars. Are women from Venus? We've been, we've been beamed up to Mars. <laughs> beamed? Beamed, like, you know, beam me up, Scotty? Yes. Okay, well, let's see if we can get ye old number in. Are you speaking of one, five, six, three, nine, 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 two, one, eight, five? Is that the number you were referring to? Um, I hear there are operators standing by. Operators standing by. Operator. <laughs> uh, don't get me going. You're going to get me going now. Operator. <laughs> Long distance information. Memphis, Tennessee. Long distance. We need no operator. We need no education. We need no you know, the stream deck with the voices is nice, or voice mod, I guess I should call it. But, um, I'll have to remember to be sure that after I push one on, that they turn it off. <laughs> I'll sit here for the rest of the show and I don't hear it. It just gets transferred. So, let's see, I guess we don't need to see. Alright, let me here. do a time check. Your head's in my way. Yeah, how about that? Just oh, anyway. wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Two seconds behind oh, in yeah. YouTube land, you know, maybe that's, three. That's a tease. That's yeah, see, your head still hasn't point. moved on Facebook, so it looks right. like Facebook is actually about uh, 15. 258, 257, yeah. 256, 255. Okay, about 15 seconds behind. That's not too bad. No, it's for not Facebook. for Facebook. They're pretty perky this morning. Perky Facebook. Mm -hmm. I won't say it seems like yesterday. <laughs> what does it seem like if not yesterday? Well, all I know is on New Year's Eve, I'm going to lift my glass at 12 a.m. and make a toast and never talk about 2020 again. You make a glass turn into a toast? How do you do that? <laughs> Filled with ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would do it. After a while, you'll be feeling like your toast. <laughs> okay, cameras are all working. Oh, you are, I had already done it. Look at that. You what? I had already put the telephone number in, apparently. I'm not quite with it. I'm not on all my cylinders today, honey. It's okay. Life happens. That's what it was. I meant to cut and paste it over to Facebook. But of course. We have about one minute, eleven seconds to make a wish. Oh, too late. <laughs> Oh, I'll make a wish on a second counter. Did you see that uh, email that I sent you with uh, all the eights? 
Not yet. Okay. Love eight. It does. Do you know why six was afraid of seven? Yes. Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Goose drank wine. Money chewed tobacco on the. Hi. The monkey chewed tobacco on the freight car. Now what is? I can't remember how that goes. I don't know anything you know about a monkey song? in a freight car. Oh, we'll have to play that song. Hmm. The monkey chewed tobacco on the freight car line. The line broke. The monkey got choked, and they all went to heaven in a little rowboat. Clap, clap. <laughs> all righty. Twenty seconds and counting. You Are stole you my race? line. Oh. Okay. Then I better get focused. Okay, I'll go away. I have one line and he stole it. <laughs> Can I get a thumbs up? Uh oh, I've lost the screen. Five, four, three, two, one. Like that. Happy Thursday. Here we are in Bridge Hands Land on the 10th of September. Wow. 10th of September, 10. how about that? 9, 10, 11. And we will be continuing yesterday's lesson, Minor Suit, Three No Trump or More where we will conclude with your host, Michael. Greeting bridge friends out there in bridge lands. Um, and happy Thursday. This is not a Friday. What's up with that? Well, we are not doing a Friday this week. So this is going to be, um, if not a fun Friday, what kind of a Thursday is this going to be, Grace? Throwback. A throwback. Throwback Thursday. I We're going to be. you like throw downs. No. That's another story. <laughs> Shh. That's on our other channel. <laughs> That's right. So um, we are live streaming. I think we have, um, let's see, playbacks. I see about seven people popped in so far. More come in, and I'm sure as we get cranking it up. So let's see. First of all, if somebody would like to dial up and dial in today, we have a number for y'all. Operators are standing by at Grace. five, six, three, nine, 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 two, one. Eight five twenty one eighty five operator. Okay. So Grace will be happy to take your calls to kind of get us teed in there, and um, also going to be moderating the chats today. So um, go ahead and be feel free to give us your thoughts as we go through these. Give us your questions. We look forward to making this your show. So um, Wednesday, yesterday, all my troubles seem so. Well, not far away, but we're here today to go through some more on minor suit bidding. We love to play in the majors. Sometimes we are not able to play in no trump or so, but if we have fabulous hands, um, we both have opening hands, which is the type of hands we're going to be looking at today, both ourselves and our responder. Goodness knows what's going on with the opponents, but... Um, yeah, we're interested in game when we each have 12, 13 points or more, and maybe sometimes much more. And in those cases, we want to take a look at exploring for SLAM and some of the different methods. So maybe I should start off by doing just a little bit of a review. So, okay, Grace, uh, let's see if I can get my digitizer over there and get this rid is where... of the dial in. I haven't got anybody to dial in yet, so you nope. keep trying and see we'll see what we get but um okay so um let's say first of all um inverted minors it's just kind of the basis of one of the methods and um, if i can make an s there <laughs> close enough so uh we normally as we know if it's one club or one diamond and it goes two clubs or two diamonds well, when we first learned how to do this, it was just like one heart or one spade and two hearts, two spades. So one heart to two hearts. So we know that these for the majors are sign offs, um, six to nine or a bad 10. Sign off bids, six to nine ish points. No interest in game. If we did, we would jump to three. And that was the way we initially started playing on the minors. One club, two clubs. But then it's like, well, let's go ahead. If you don't really have a very good club suit, and you have at least four, I think should be normally five or more, but you better have pretty good honors if you're going to be jumping. And you don't have a four-card major. 
So um, let's invert the meaning. So rather than one club, two club, which is normally would be about, I guess it was six to nine also, let's make it so that it's one club, three clubs with maybe, oh, z zero to a bad six maybe. And um, if we have something like, uh, oh, let's say six to whatever, <laughs> I won't say right now, um, you make it one no trump. And that would probably be nine or 10, wouldn't it? We'll just go ahead and make that a nine. Same with the diamonds. Um, and then it was like, well, um, okay. So then what is gonna be um, one club, two clubs, or let's put it one diamond, two diamonds. So we're not gonna play this way, the old fashioned way. We're gonna use this inverted minor approach. And so now we say, well, okay, we don't have a four card major and um, don't wanna play in no trump, but we're going to invert the meaning. So it's not gonna be six to nine. It's gotta be more than that. And there's two ways to play it. Um, I'll say method one is to make it 10 plus. And this is one round forcing, one RF. And then the method number two would be to say, no, nah, we want it to be game forcing. Let's find some other bids um, if it's somewhere in between the tweeners. So this would be, let's say 12 plus or 13 plus if it's your preference. And it is um, GF, game forcing. I like to play method two, um, but a lot of people, when they just start off with the inverted minors, they say, no, um, the inverted minors, one diamond, two diamonds, or one club, two clubs, it's just gonna show uh, 10 points or more. And the partner will alert it, you know, partner bids one diamond, I bid two diamonds. I don't look at him and say, oh, partner, do you remember what's going on? But um, when I bid two diamonds, my partner will say, um, alert. If you're playing online and you're self-alerting, then you have to like say, um, inverted minors. Actually, you don't wanna say the name of the convention. You wanna say what it means. Say this is um, 10 plus points and four plus diamonds, and it is forcing one round or forcing to game the way I like to play it. That's the second method, I'll call it method number two. So uh, that's the basis for the inverted minors, and um, it can be uh, very handy. Um, what else? Well, what if it's you're in between values, you may ask, and that's where the crisscross, if I can get it working, there it goes. Crisscross. Sounds like I'd be in a song, she doesn't grace. It's actually a name of a singer. Oh, we know that, yes. Yeah. But, um, a couple of them. Okay, so thank you, Rice. You want to share that with us now? I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me get that microphone a little closer there. So, at any rate, so this would be um, one club, not one diamond, two diamonds, or one diamonds, not two clubs, three clubs. Yeah, the original way, this would be a SJS, a strong jump shift, showing 17 points or more. But it just doesn't come up that often, does it? Your partner opens and you've got 17 or more, strong jump shift. Don't have a four card major, by the way. So yeah, that, that just didn't really cut it. So they said, well, it's a better way. We'll use it for in the in-between values. Remember we said when you your partner opens, let's say it was one diamond, and you happen to have, um, oh, let's say, not 12 points, 12 points would be game force and you could do one diamond, two diamond. Well, I prefer that method too, but let's say you happen to have, um, oh, maybe seven to 11, more than a six point. And you got something with values. You know, I might be having 17 or 18 points in my hand with I open one club. And if you were to do three clubs with eight points, it's like we missed my game. And I'm thinking, well, I thought you said you were weak when you inverted it. Oh, but I had eight points. Well, no, don't do it with eight points. Use this method. Okay. So that would be where you've got about seven to 11 points and you do not have a four card major and you don't want to bid no Trump. Oh, oh, I get it now. Why don't you want to bid no Trump? Because you have a singleton or a void. You know, maybe we belong in three no Trump if you're really big and you have some in that suit or maybe we belong in five of a minor. I don't know. So you would bid one diamond and then three clubs, which has got this in between values. So with um, zero to six, 
Yeah, I don't know if there's good sixes, but I suppose ace, queen, five times. Maybe you think it's worth more than six. And you put it over in the other category. But, you know, in this situation, you would use the one diamond, three diamonds. But if you have the seven to 11 in shortness, no four card major, yeah, do the crisscross bid. One diamond, three clubs. Or if I opened one club, and you've got that seven to 11, and you've got five or more clubs, fine, go ahead and bid two diamonds. And that handles all the cases. And I think that works very well, because I don't think you're gonna get that many times to have strong jump shifts. So that's part of it. And um, well, then there's these things like, we know our good friend, Mr. Gerber. Jeez, I know Eastley Blackwood. I don't know Mr. Gerber's first name. I'm gonna have to look that up someday. Was he a Gerber baby? <laughs> <laughs> he probably just ate a lot of Gerber food. <laughs> he was maybe the taster. Maybe, yeah, he was the CEO for Gerber. Who knows? Maybe. But this is um, one no trump and four clubs, a big jump, or maybe um, two no trump, four clubs, or something like that where you um, end up with a no trump bid, and then it goes four clubs. So I guess it could be... One diamond, um, oh, let's go one club. Back, 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 I don't wanna get rid of this all. Yeah, there we go. One club, and then it goes um, one heart, one no trump, four clubs. So here we go. Last bid was a no trump, and then the next person does it, Gerber bids. And um, as I said on Wednesday, the first thing we want to do is we want to have an agreement with our partner. When do we play it just Blackwood style? Remember the old Blackwood style, Eastley Blackwood? He said, if you've got none, then with zero aces, you make the first step. And if you have one, then you make the second step. two, the third, and of course, three, the fourth, yeah, five, same as zero. <laughs> okay, first or fifth. All right, so far so good. But then, you know, we wanted to know about, um, well, what about, what about what, honey? Hmm. The Trump King. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> We're not getting political today. No. The Trump King. And so, yeah, we wanted to know about that. And we said, well, let's make that a, um, a fifth key card. Wait, there's four aces. There's only four. No, we're going to make five. Okay. Include the Trump King. That is the, the fifth, I'll call it ace, if you will, because it's important to know. And then, well, what else would you want to know? If you want to know about the king, what else would you want to know about, Grace? The queen. The queen, yeah. So what about the Trump queen? So that's a, a second round. We don't answer that the first time, but then we can answer that next. So that's the benefit of um, the two styles. Um, one is called um, one, four, three, or zero. For first step is one or four. Second step is three or zero. So um, some people like it the other way. They make the first step zero or three, and the second step is one or four, whichever. It all work fine. So, um, yeah, I guess that um, when you have two, then you would make the third step. So that would be the third step would be two, and the first one is without the queen. There we go. And the last one is two with the queen. So that's kind of the basis. And to go beyond that, um, if you play 1430, let's just say, that's I think the most common, then um, what happens um, if you're playing Gerber? Do you play Gerber with just regular Blackwood style or do you play the 1430 style? I'd say play 1430 everywhere, everywhere. Well, what else is there besides that? Um, well, let's see. How about when you are in minor wood? Oh, so when we go beyond three, no trump, let's get bid one, bid two, bid three, bid four. Maybe the fourth bid is three, no trump. 
and your partner goes in clubs, let's say four clubs, in well, is that Gerber? Or if not, bid five clubs for Gerber, then make it 1430 responses on the minors. So if, or if it goes like this, one club, four clubs. You're not playing that as weak. You're playing this as minor wood. Then you do the responses after that, or like you would in Gerber, as though your partner bid one no trump, and then you do four clubs. So, um, yeah, just be sure when you have this method where it's on and where it's not on. I'd say just play it on any, everywhere. And how about if it's um, exclusion block wood? Ooh. What in the heck are we even talking about? Exclude. Well, okay, we got the exclude. Exclusion block wood. So let's say we'll start with um, one club, two club. And remember, I said I like the method two, which is where this is game forcing. Okay, so far so good. And then um, we know clubs is Trump. And um, your partner makes him very high bid. Um, four diamonds. Well, why did you just bid two diamonds or three diamonds? What's four diamonds? This is an unnecessary jump. So if you make it like, um, okay, so let's go on a bidding ladder. This is the level one. And this would be clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. And then we've got the two and the three and the four, and we keep going up. So if we happen to be over here at um, two clubs, two of the clubs, you went up to um, seven or eight steps or more, all the way boop, up to four diamonds. Well, we know there's five steps per um, suit level. Clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, no trump. Got to count no trump too. So yeah, when it gets to be an unnecessary jump, that would be exclusion black. But this would say, partner, I want to know about your aces, but I don't want to know about the diamond suit. I want you to exclude that. I made a super unnecessary jump, and I would like to know about your number of aces, but don't count the diamond suit. Well, why would that be? Well, you don't want to do a Blackwood ask, 1430 ask, whatever, when you have a void. If your partner's got an ace, nobody really cares about it. It doesn't help. You want to know other than the suit that you're excluding because you have a void. So you want to know, partner, tell me about the aces, but forget the suit. And that's the exclusion Blackwood. And I would say even there, play 1430 or whatever your style is and be consistent. You know, it's like, oh, I shouldn't. Did it account on exclusion blackwoods? We've never talked about that. When you sit down with your partner, say, let's play them on everywhere or nowhere. So um, I think that's probably a little bit that's going to help us today. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our first hand. And we'll mask them to start. This is going to be hand number 62, it says. Um, and the south is going to be the dealer. And I have a pretty nice hand. I have a 6331. Goodness knows what that singleton queen is. Remember I've said is that always discount by one if it's singleton, unless your partner has bid the suit, don't discount it at all. So I may call one point, I'm not sure. You know, if my partners have the ace or the king, it's who knows. Okay, so, but we've got eight points in spades, that's good. And we've got another seven plus Beyond the fourth, I have another two more, and I certainly have a good suit, ace-king-10. So I'm going to give myself another two points there. And in hearts, jack-third, no, I am not going to give it. Jack-10, my partner bids the suit, yeah, I will. So um, we have nine and eight is 17 points, and I'm certainly not going to bid one no trump with that. Don't think about that. <laughs> so we're going to bid one club. And we should always be thinking about a rebid, shouldn't we? What's our rebid going to be when our partner bids something? Three clubs, right? Yeah, if we had 19 points, we'd be thinking about three no trump, especially if our partner bid the diamond suit. So, but in this case, one club, and we're planning to rebid three clubs. Over to West. West has a 6430. No bid. No <coughs> clubs, interestingly. What about North? Do they have some clubs? Oh, yeah, they have four. Okay, that's a nice club suit. But Tom, um, do you have a four card major? No, you don't. Oh, okay. And diamonds, oh, they sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. 
there is seven and plus another two for the distribution great suit here again seven plus two nine points there in um, clubs we have definitely a good three points I like that nine with it too yeah okay so um, 10 plus 3 13 you just want to go three no trump I hope not. No, your partner open. You have game values, but um, yeah, you have this little problem. You have a deficiency in the heart suit. More on that later. Think about that exclusion blackwood. Okay, so um, you just want to bid a diamond. Yeah, diamond is a forcing bid. I know it doesn't take up much auction in the room, but um, we hope our opponents are not going to come on with three spades or some crazy bid next. And um, how about over in East? Do you have anything? Wow, you have a flat hand, a four, triple, three. But ace, king, queen, fourth. Do you want to bid that suit? Some people do. Ace, king, queen, that's all they need, they figure. Um, yeah, it might be that you have a fit with partner. And oh, look at here. If you bid one heart, your partner is going to be singing like a canary, probably all the way to four hearts. There we go. Good job, Grace. There's our canary in the background. In the coal mine. In the coal mine. That's a canary <laughs> in the coal mine. That's what it feels like. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> so at any rate, East, uh, you know, if you have this type of a hand and you feel um, so inclined to bid, I wouldn't fault it. Because it would be good lead directing, wouldn't it, if um, they were looking in three no trump. But on the other hand, if your partner led top of nothing in hearts and had five or six of them, <laughs> and the opponents did go into three no trump if you didn't bid hearts. So it's a give and a take, isn't it? At any rate, hope that helps. But I normally would consider a bid of one heart or one spade when I think we're not vulnerable and we may want to bid them up. Okay, back to south. All right, so your partner bid one diamond, did they? Well, sure, don't you know, because I have a singleton. The rule of anticipation holds up yet again. <laughs> so um, I said I was going to rebid three clubs, and I certainly am. My partner hasn't shown four hearts yet. So I'm going to say I have some interest in game. Strong interest. I do not have that many losers. Um, does it have to be a semi-self-sustaining suit with a suit quality of nine, meaning your honors plus the length of the suit? Not necessarily, but you've got a six bagger, maybe more, <laughs> six cards or more in the suit, and you have strong interest in game. Okay, so over in the north. Wow. <laughs> oh. Well, it sounds a little French, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, now you have some interest in slam, I do believe. Um, indubably. Indubably. And my partner's got a lot of clubs. And I've got Queen Jack 9 fourth. Man, I think we are going to go to town. Sunday go to meeting. So, in the diamond suit, when you've got ace, king, and a long suit, it's a lot better chance to promote. We don't have the queen, but still, you know, we could rough one of my partner's short and then get back to the hand once Trump's pulled. My partner's got six, I've got four, ten. They could be three, zero, but um, I don't think so. They're normally two, one. So yeah, um, I think we're going to go ahead and bid slam. No, not for no Trump. That takes up too much space because your partner makes a response. You're all of a sudden, you're past five clubs. So remember, we said we we're going to be playing anything past three clubs is saying show me your aces and remember 1430 style please so that would be the way to do it but um, is there a better bid yeah you can't really do that here why ah because we've got a void in hearts we have no hearts my partner says the ace of hearts i didn't need to know that so we can't use ah the minor wood bid sigh well, okay, then let's go ahead and do that thing on hearts. We'll bid the suit we want to exclude hearts. Well, it can't be three hearts. Um, four hearts. It's not to play. No, it's not a suit. Gosh, sometimes people made the mistake. I didn't know what to do. I just passed. No, this isn't a necessarily high jump. After three clubs, it wasn't three hearts. It was four hearts. And how many steps are between clubs and hearts? Well, I do believe it's diamonds and hearts. 
and then if we add another five that's two plus because you got another up to go another five remember there's clubs diamonds hearts spades no trump it's a seven so with seven steps i believe this smells like a exclusion blackwood okay so this is saying show me the number of aces and remember i like to play 1430 style everywhere so when you respond with your aces and the trump king yes please tell me what you have okay we'll do that let's see we have an ace and a king of the trump suit okay there are two and i don't count the king of spades just the trump suit and the king in it so i i believe i have three so let's go to our decode wheel first step is one or four second step is three or zero yeah we have three hopefully a partner will know whether we have three or zero if we jumped i don't think we have zero duh we have to have three so okay what's the third step got to be careful now first step would be three diamonds second step three hearts third step oops i said three i meant to say four diamonds and four and the next step is four spades yeah after four hearts um oop, what i got i didn't start it off right <laughs> Well, I'm glad he made a mess of that, so I'm going to just redo it. Okay, so it starts with not three clubs. That's where I was wrong. What was I doing? Okay, now I've got to go to the erase tool. Undo. Forget everything I said now. Everything after. Just remember this now. So here we go. We're going to go back to the pen tool. And so we're starting with four hearts. So after four hearts, the first step is four spades. Is I'm too busy writing. That's one. Uh, for no trump is equal to the second and five clubs is equal to the third okay i can talk and chew gum at the same time now okay so the third race third level for our three um, controls including the trump king is going to be five clubs it's not a sign off bit i'm just responding to your partner with how many aces and the trump king i have i have three i have three and we're not going to i may have the ace of hearts i may not but you don't really care because you've got a void in that suit I, i'm cool i get it so i mean you say wow um hmm, up in the north my partner has got the ace and the king that's cool and it's got an ace somewhere else that's not trump I wonder what suit that might be. I think it's the spade suit. So, okay, my partners showed um, the ace king and the ace of spades, and they jumped. Well, how about that now? So, yeah, I think I would just go ahead and do seven clubs hearing that. You think, well, wait a second. How many points did you say you had? High card points, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points, including a queen third in spades? 12 points and you're going to Grand Slam? No, you shouldn't. Your partner didn't open two clubs. Well, but we're doing it based upon our shape. Shape counts, doesn't it, Grace? Well, that's what you say. <laughs> that's right. So let's take a look at all four I'll cover hands. the south, please, honey. Oh, okay, all four. All four of them are going to be here. Thank you for that. And so um, how will it play? Well, um, I don't know what they're going to lead. If you were in the east, west seat, excuse me, I think you would probably lead the heart. It doesn't matter whether you lead top or bottom. You, you want to lead a suit that you likely not to finesse your partner, right? Because when you're at the, they're at the six no trump or the seven of something of a suit. Yeah, maybe your partner will have a void there, but oh, wait a second. That's right, there's a void in the north end when they made that exclusion Blackwood. Huh, well, probably it just doesn't matter what you lead. But at any rate, let's say it was a heart led and it goes up to the ace. But no, it's been rough first in the north hand. So um, you can rough one right there. And rough. Rough high if you rough. want to. Yeah, you might want to do that. Maybe they got such a long suit. You know, you think they've got 10 cards in the suit. You, if they did and they didn't make a bid, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? But if they had 10 cards, so yeah, you go up with the nine don't play the three don't be chintzy okay so um 
I kind of took a lot of you, didn't it, Grace? Don't hold back on those onions. Don't hold back on my onions, Ben. I want those onions. <laughs> so, okay, you, you play a club and um, you're in and you can say, well, okay, we've got three, six, ten, and um, we play a club and, oh, okay, one shows out, so it's three, zero. So um, we need to have a way to get to the north hand and we can get there with it. Look at that. We got the ace, king, jack. We can use the jack and overtake with the queen. We can play the Queen of Diamonds, and um, it looks like we have no problem running them all, all 13 tricks. So, yeah, the high card points between the two isn't that great, but um, sometimes when you have these very shapely hands and promotable suits, good things can happen. So, there might be other ways that you might bid that, but I don't know if you would come to seven clubs. So what we learned here is the um, the power of the exclusion Blackwood when you have a void. If you were to ask aces here, then um, your partner shows an ace, but you don't know if it's a heart or not. And no, you're not allowed to put your hand like this to kind of put it over your heart. <laughs> that would be that would be bad. So no unauthorized information, please. Okay, so I think that takes care of that one. Did I milk that one enough, Grace? I think you did. Man, I, that was a long one. But oh, hopefully come up to speed on the notion of what we're doing, and we're going to go on to some more hands here. I do want to go back. Um, you were talking earlier regarding the canary, and Patty brought up the, um, e okay, I don't know if I'll say this right, E. coli, e -coli term. Hmm. She said that's the English system they taught on the cruise. They open with two-card major, I mean, four-card major she means oh oh a c o l ackle 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 okay. ackle yes um yeah i play that with people if they like to there's you know there's two diamond bids the benjamin diamonds and some things get a little bit there but the idea is that rather than to open 15 to 17 points they're a little bit less um the kind of like the kaplan shinewald or some others a 12 to 14 point no trump range so with less, you um, open no trump. That way, you can be a little preemptive. And if you have 15 to 17, then you start with a minor and you rebid no trump. And then you alert that and say it's 15 to 17. And you don't need a five-card major. You just need a four-card major. And so you can open the major suit when you don't have five. But then you're kind of like, well, when my partner responds with the suit, how many do they have? That's kind of part of the interesting part of that system. But there are methods. So yeah, that call system. I certainly see people from um, England, the um, Great Britain, if you will, <laughs> and also all the way down to Australia. A lot of people there, that's their favorite method. Okay, so um, after 62, what's our next hand? It is 73, so we're going to be going onward and pick up a little pace now. 73. Yes, Grace. John Gibson is with us. Hey, well, John. JG. Okay. Five Club says you have three key cards. You could only have three aces and no king, question mark. Um, you have um, you, the Trump king could be part of it. It wouldn't be kings elsewhere. But it's the aces outside of the exclusion suit, outside of the heart suit. And so um, if you have the ace of hearts, just forget it. Your partner doesn't care. <laughs> like what? I had an ace, maybe an ace and a king. Well, that would not be good because then your response obviously would be much less. So, um, yeah, that would be the the ticket there. So count your trump, king, and your aces outside the exclusion suit. Okay, so next north is dealing on this one, and um, it should be. I'm not going to go through the evaluation now. We're going to pick it up a little bit and F1. That'll be. Um, he said, thank you. Very good. One club. Great. Uh, thanks for asking the question, too. And to the south hand. Oh, yeah. One diamond. And um, you might be saying, but Michael, here's one of those times where I think exclusion black would, not exclusion black, excuse me, where a strong jump shift would work. Now, it's not, it's not strong enough for a strong. It still doesn't work. As great as this suit is, you wouldn't be able to use the two diamond bid with this hand. So remember we talked about using the crisscross bid, but that's not the one we have here. We're just going to bid one diamond. That's it. Over to north. North is, um, well, uh, I don't have a lot more here, um, but, um, oh yeah, my points. Let's talk about my points. I have seven, 
and seven, oh, excuse, seven and eight, excuse me. Forget that, jack and another four. So why didn't you open one no trump? Uh, because I was too strong, Michael. <laughs> it's like, um, oh, that's why you bid three no trump on your re return bid. Yeah, you had 19 to 21 points, didn't you? You wanted to open it to no trump. Some people might say, I'm going to count that Jack Doubleton to heck with it, Michael. <laughs> no, I don't. I won't do it. Not me. Good luck if you do. <laughs> yeah, you remember it. Who's got the skin queen? Well, partner ought to. Well, this time, yeah, they did. But at um, any rate, so um, three no trump in south were like, like, wait a second. I've got this tremendous suit here. And my partner has um, showing 19 points. You know, sometimes it's like, well, I don't know. We could play in five diamonds. <laughs> you don't want to be thinking that way. You don't want to be thinking about slam or grand slam. So you want to ask, don't you? And um, I know what some of you are thinking, uh, but Michael, didn't you say you need to have aces or kings in the outside suit to be the one who asks? Yes. Although this is kind of a little different situation, isn't it? Because your partner has shown like a huge hand. So once your partner is like open to no trump or two clubs, um, strong jump shift, those things is now, oh, I think you don't have to worry about the not having an ace and the king in the suits. Because, you know, we've only got really nine points. Well, 10 if you count the jack of spades, but I don't think that'll go far. So, okay, so yeah, this is one of the times you can say you don't have controls on the other suit, but your partner's bid so strongly, you can. So, um, your response to ask aces, oh yeah, the Gerber bid. Well, is it four clubs or five clubs? The answer is yes, whichever you play. If you play four clubs, you've gone beyond no trump. This is not to say, I want to play in four, no, four clubs, partner. I'm not going to pull you out of no trump. You said you can make it. So, um, four clubs <laughs> ought to be enough. But if you like to play that as Q bidding controls um, and you want to play five clubs as Super Gerber, that's fine. That's a Mike Lawrence style. But I'm going to just go with go beyond no trump. Once your partner's in th one of the three no trump, it's Gerber. Or minor wood, if you want to call it that. So, um, okay, up into the north end this time, tell us about all your controls. And um, so, um, what about the Trump King? Oh. There ain't no Trump King, is there? Because the last bid suit was no Trump. So, okay. Well, um, so how do I show the queen when there's no queen or things like that? Well, 1430 style, baby. Remember, 1430. So um, the first step, one or four. Second step, three or zero. Well, then what? The twos. The third step, I'm going to redo this here again. First step is one or four. Second step, three or zero. Third step is two with a minimum. Oh, okay. And the fourth step is two with a maximum. Okay, two with a max. Yeah, you know, some of them you have more primary honors or, you know, a longer suit or something like that. Look, it looks better. So it shows the range and that's the way you handle that. So, okay, remember this was a one club, one diamond, three no trump, four clubs. So how many aces do we have? One, a two, and a three. So we don't have the two, so we don't do that mini max stuff. So the first step is one or four. Second step is three or zero for the second. And that's us. And so we were last at clubs. So the next step is diamonds. And the next step after that is hearts. So I do believe it would be four hearts this time. Four. That's a four. Okay, so four hearts is what it would be. And you in the south then say... Oops, I should be showing all four of these hands. Grace, sorry, sorry. about that. So um, once again, the north hand, you have the ace of hearts, the ace of clubs, and the ace of spades. And so we bid for hearts, the third step. Okay. I'm sorry, the second step. So, um, okay, so our partner's got three, um, three aces. 
well, hey, that's what I was looking for through Aces. So um, that would have to be the Ace of Spades, Ace of Clubs, the Ace of Hearts. Well, what if they have a Void in Diamonds? Well, they shouldn't be bidding that then. They got to have at least one Diamond. I think they probably have more if they have a balanced hand, right? They should have at least two. So, yeah, I think it would be, once again, seven, no Trump. And I'm um, looking at all four hands. You can see that um, easy peasy. So I think that's the way you would bid that hand. Another one of these lovely Grand Slam bids. And this type, uh, we thing we had to remember was once it got past three no trump, it was four clubs. It's not to say partner. I don't like your no trump. I want to play in clubs. It's not that at all. And so after that, use the 1430 style, not the black. Remember, keep it the same way, whatever you do, and you'll be good to go. So if there's no questions, we're going to keep on having this ship rolling. We're going to go rolling, up to number rolling, 77. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. 77 Sunset Strip. God, that goes back. Dating myself for sure. And this is going to be North Deal. I'm going to keep all these hands shown this time there we go so um, north is going to say um, if you count the handout to no trump which means it's 20 to 21 balance points and it sure looks like that to me so to no trump and south says um wow um i don't have controls in the rounded suits clubs and hearts but my partners bid strongly showing 20 points or more remember it was 19 or more when they did a strong jump shift 1921 this time it's 20 to 21 points so once again we're not going to worry about the controls and those side suits in this situation because well look at how many points do we have four five six seven eight, 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and my partner's got 20 and we takes 37 for a grand slam I think we're <laughs> sniffing for a grand slam. So let's see what we can Kaliki do here. style? Kaliki style, that's right. So um, how do we ask? We do four clubs. And our partner will bid and back and forth. And we should be able to find it. But four clubs is if you're playing 1430 style and so on and so forth. If you're just playing regular Blackwood, do it as best you can with that too, right? So but this only thing it gains you when there's no Trump is you can do the mini max thing if you have two. So in that case, you would have three. Uh, all right. So the other way is, um, you know, some people, and I'm not going to fault them. They say, you know, I think we should open this two clubs. I'm like, oh, let's look at those points. There's seven and seven and seven. That looks like 21 to me. So um, don't you need 22 or more? Well, if you've got a good suit, in this case, they're all primary honors. Let's take a look. Do we have more than four and a half quick tricks? Well, um, we have two tricks in clubs and two, and we're doing quick tricks now. Ace King is worth two in clubs. There's two in hearts. I see another two in spades. I've got another one. And in King of Diamonds by itself, diamond is equal to one half. So it's um, two, four, five, five and a half. Man, that's pretty big not to be bidding two clubs. You got all those prime values. Is it a four, triple, three? No, it's four, four, three, two. So at any rate, if you did a two club opener, I would suggest just doing two diamonds for now. Yeah, you've got, you could go three no trump, but you're using a lot of oxygen. Don't do that. Just let your partner then rebid two no trump. Okay, so their minimum, you know, 22, 23 playing points, even though we know they only had 21. And then you could go ahead and decide from there, once it's been a no trump bid, you could do your four club thing, right? To say this is um, a Gerber type bid and so on and so forth. But um, I don't know if you want to look for that Grand Slam. It's like um, you'll find that you have all the aces, but, um, you know, it might be that there is a guess. And um, remember the Barry Crane commandment? The Barry Crane commandment said, if you're playing in an imps game, a team game with him, if you don't if you ever bid Grand Slam, you're off the team. <laughs> They'll be out. And he was like the person who like had the best team. So, okay, Barry, 
once in a while they would still violate the rule. I think Mike Passel was one that did it. And he said, I could play with them once a year and that would be about it. Both great players, but you know, sometimes partnership style. And it is bring up a good point. If you're in an imps game, you know, you get a lot of points for a game. If you're behind in a tournament, you might, you're Bermuda Bowl, you're 20 imps behind, maybe you need to do it. So, uh, and how would we do by the way? Oh yeah, you would have to finesse the queen of hearts and it is on side. So you are gonna make seven, no Trump, but that is a, how much of a chance? 50, 50, man, you're in a match point game. It's just a bottom or top, but in an imps game, that might be the whole tournament on that one, just on the guess. So some people like to live by the sword, but we are going to go on to another hand. All right, that was number 1377. What's the next one coming up? Number 83. 83. Okay, it is going to be south. It's going to be the dealer is going to bid one club. And I'm watching the time. We're going to have to finish promptly at um, 11 our time today, 15 minutes left. And then north is going to say, well, I have a four card major one heart. Remember, I've designed these hands so that <laughs> they will never have a 4-4 fit when I had run it through the simulator. It will not be a 4-4 fit in the major. Uh -uh. So we can have these hands to look from. Okay, so South, you've got enough to do a three club. Yeah, your suit quality isn't the best, but hey, this is just inviting game. You don't have to have use the suit quality rule and doing a losing trick count. So after three clubs, um, huh. Wow, North, you've um, heard partner show a good hand, and you've got how many points? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, maybe seventeen. So, um, yeah, you have some interest in hmm, a grand slam. You know, you got a slam. So, how about? Five no trump. Wait, four no trump is. Hmm. What's well, five no trump? It's that pick a slam type of thing. So um, your partner would do six no trump. But that won't come up very often, and I won't spend a lot of time on that one today. But just so you've seen it, there is this thing called pick a slam bid. Okay, so um, next up is number 15. And. Um, that should take me there. And how come it says go back to hand 77? Well, we're going to go back to 77 and see. I think we did 77, didn't we? Yeah, we did do that one. Okay, that's fine. 14th. I see. I went the wrong way. We went hand number. 15th is 86. There that, we go. That's why it's Throwback Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, I got a lot of clicking to do now. 86. What does that mean in 86? You've been 86. That means get on out of here. <laughs> that's right. Why did they come up with that? That's a good one. I'll have to look that one up. I think it's a code for the um, police scale. I don't think so. But I like that. But that would make a whole lot of sense. It makes too much sense to be true. But yeah, 86. Grace is going to, I'm sure, look it up right now. She's going <laughs> to go to the Book well. of Knowledge, Wikipedia. Google. Oh, Google. But yeah, it'll take you probably to the Book of Knowledge, Wikipedia. Okay, so 86 is um, who's going to be the dealer north, and they're going to open to no Trump with their balanced 20 to 21 points. And um, south is going to bid, um, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe 12. Um yeah, you need 33 points. If your partner's got 20 to 21, we've got that king fifth in clubs. Might give yourself a distribution point there. So let's take a look at that again. We've got six, and we've got three, and we've got two. And we have maybe one distribution. So 10, 12. If our partner's at the high end, how do we bid that? Well, it goes two, no trump, for no Trump, and this time it's just quantitative. Nothing special, just the old fashioned quantitative for no Trump. Partner, if you're at the high end, go. If you're at the low end, 
evaluate your hand and whatever you do wrong, it's your fault. No, we don't do that. We know our partners can do the best they can, but we've given them uh, the final decision. So we now are the crew and our partner, normally the person who opens one no trump or two no trump, they're now the crew and we're the captain because we know their hand. But in this case, we say we have something similar partner, but we want you to make the final decision up in North. And you take a look at it and you say, you know, I have a four triple three, but man, I, I like my aces and kings and my ace queen combination. And it seems pretty good to me. So um, they do six no trump. And how do they do? Well, if you look at all four hands, they can make seven no trump. <laughs> so you've got um, a control in spades, which assumedly would they lead spades? I don't think in six no trump. I'm not going to lead away from my ace or king. Uh uh. So you wouldn't lead that suit, and you lead any other suit, and you can see that you're going to take um, five clubs. Um, turns out four diamonds because the diamonds fall three, three. Normally three, but in this case, you get all four of them. One spade and um, three hearts. So that adds up to about 13. So it was a lucky hand, but they're not always going to be three, three and diamonds. Remember, that's a one in three chance. If you say 36% chance, people say, oh, you really know your odds. <laughs> 33, one third is enough. May the odds forever be in your favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. Very good. And say so we're on the number 16, number well, 90. Before you go there, I thought I would let you know that. Oh, yes. 86. Many stories back up that there was a speakeasy bar at 86 Bedford Street in Greenwich Village called Clumies with no address on the floor and several hidden exits. When the heat showed up, guests were known to 86 it or remove themselves from the premise immediately. When the heat showed up, huh? So it was a speakeasy. Speakeasy. And now you know the rest, the rest of, of the, the story. story. Paul Harvey, good Paul day. Harvey. Okay, so we're up to number 90. We've done two left. Now we're going to make it, Grace. But this one, man, this is a bidder's paradise. And I don't like to show extra bids when unnecessary. But um, if it makes it more precise, kind of like the precision people do, there is a place for it. So let's see what we've got. South is the dealer. And um, what do you want to do there? F1 key. Okay, it looks to me like it's just a one club bid. And over in the north hand. Ooh, they got a lot of points. Um, yeah, you could do like some number of no trump, but you might miss um, a slam and a minor. How many points do we have? Seven and three is ten. And another two going to count it, especially even if it's a singleton queen because of my partner's suit, right? Two and six. So, yeah, 16 points. Oh, and one distribution there for the fifth diamonds. 17 points. Yeah, if you were playing strong jump shifts, this would be the hand that you could go ahead and do two diamonds. But we use the crisscross bid, remember? So don't make that mistake if we're playing crisscross. So just one diamond. And the opponents aren't going to come in. You can kind of see they don't have any aces or kings. You can imagine where this hand's going to go, but let's just play it as we can. So after one spade, well, we've got a four card major. So um, we'll bid one spade. And um, if you have 19 to 21 points, by the way, you could go ahead and bid two spades here. Strong jump shift by you. But we don't have that. So, okay, after a strong jump shift, my partner is like, <laughs> like, Rubbing his eyes. I have the right hand in my dream, and I've got like 17 points. My partner's um, done a strong jump. No, just one spade. So it could be, you know, 10 to 14 points, maybe 18 points. We don't know. The South is a man of mystery at this point. So um, what do you want to bid next? North. Huh? I think two hearts. Oh, this is reversed by the responder, Game Forcing. Remember, they were at the one level, and we were now the person who broke the barrier into the two level in a higher ranking suit than our first one. Ergo, a reverse. Ergo, Game Forcing. Okay, so. Only did it with three? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You just wanted to kind of show that you have a huge hand, and that did it. Okay, so how about this one? 
it is for suit forcing also, isn't it? <laughs> so it could be artificial as far as the length. Okay, so south, you're going to rebid three clubs because you have five of them. And it's pretty good. Ace, king, ten. Yeah, you don't want to bid no trump because you got that singleton heart. You're not sure if partners really got a heart suit. So although they, I doubt they're heartless. So after three clubs, it's three diamonds. Oh, it sounds like we're cubiting controls, are we? So, okay, um, I'll cooperate. What comes after diamonds? Three hearts. Well, whoa, 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 I only have a king of hearts. Well, I like to cubid aces or kings. So I'm just showing that my partner in north, if they got a big hand, they're cubiting. I think when I bid three clubs, that shows they either have the king or a void, right? Because they have the ace. So, oh, okay, he's playing. We never talked about Italian cubids. Okay, so he does with aces and kings in that situation. Okay, so I got second round of control in the suit there, partner. And my partner says three spades, because why? Because I'll, I'll do the Italian cube bid too, uh, back to you, partner. And I'm like, oh, okay, my partner's got it because I have the ace of spades. They must have the king or singleton or void. Yes, Grace. Five minutes. Oh, that's it. Okay. I know, but this is a, a longer story. Uh. By the way, I think I can do this. Uh, I, I might be sorry I did it. But this is the start of a dramatic story. Dramatic story continues <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right, going back to the hand um, after three spades, what do I have next? Well, four clubs. I've got my ace. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to bid my clubs. I'm going to go four clubs. And my partner is going to say, well, um, back at you. I've got the ace and the king. They're going to go four diamonds. You see how we're cubiting our aces and kings or singletons or voids is what we're doing there. And that's about the last of the controls. So at this point, um, the only question is, is that um, who's got that trump queen? So you might stop at six and uh, no trump. Or if you're feeling real lucky, you could do the seven no trump. But um, we don't have a method to ask on the queen. So if you did, you could find out that there's a queen. But only the precision bidders have ways to do that. So we won't get into that one today. So um, as you take a look at it, you can see that you've got, um, we'll forget about the spade finesse. We got how many? Two spades, five diamonds. Man, my digitizer is not wanting to work. Let's try it again. Five diamonds, okay. In clubs, well, we've got at least three. And in hearts, we got at least three. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I guess we don't even have to worry about that queen of clubs. So pretty hard to bid that grand slam. But if you got your slam, good on you. And I think we're on to the last hand. Grace. Last hand. Okay. And so it is going to be south is the dealer, and they are going to open one club. North is gonna say one diamond. South is gonna say I think it should be one spade, but they said, oh, they gonna do, yeah, one no trump. I think it should be a spade. Next is gonna be four clubs, which is Gerber. And uh, then it will go on. And I think you can see is that um, with normal bidding, you should be able to, oh, this looks kind of like the last one, doesn't it? What the heck? I tell you, it looks very similar to the other hand, I'm, but they were supposed to be all randomly dealt. Let me go back to 16. Oh, I see. I'm doing the wrong hand. No wonder I was having problems with this. Something wasn't adding up. So I want to go to 99. I say, man, I'm, how can this work? <laughs> I was reading my notes from the wrong hand. Okay, number 99. Well, I apologize. Because you, 99 minus 86 was lucky yeah, something 13. Like that. So the auction... Um, by south was one club, one diamond, a huge hand there. Look at that north hand. And then it was one no trump. Yeah, it didn't, was supposed to have four spades. And then now it's the old four club Gerber in that hand. And um, I don't see how you could keep out of seven no trumps. Look at the north hand because you're going to respond that you have two. Um, oops, excuse me. Um, yeah, there's a no trump two. And um, is it two um, is a minimum or is it two is a maximum? What would you say with the south hand? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
I'm going to give it extras because that ace, king, queen five times. So I'm going to go to that fourth step is two with. Remember when it's, um, oh, wait a second. Let's see. Uh, we're in, yeah, that's right, two with. And that's the way I would bet it. So you'll, you'll find your seven note trump there, I do believe. Okay, I think we've done it, Grace. Okay, and, um, good job. I hope you enjoyed the show today. And uh, I guess that, sorry we didn't get a chance for the Q&A, but next week we look forward to that, going back to our fun Fridays. So um, lessons learned. Well, um, minor suit slams. No Trump slams when you've got the minor. So those are kind of what you're talking about. They don't come up that often. I think slams are about mm, once every 25, 30 times. Most of them probably going to be in the majors. Um, some of those will be in no Trump. And so as you get a chance to work with your partnership uh, and you have a, a good understanding of your methods, fine. If not, I guess you just wing it. Or like when I first learned to play, my mother would say is like, well, Michael, if you're going to bid five diamonds, you might as well bid six because it's only one more trick. <laughs> and so when we play precision, we get a little bit more precise in terms of our bidding. But sometimes if you don't know these methods, you're just kind of, you got to do the best you can. So I hope that helps. And uh, go ahead and watch this a second time if you want to get more and be sure to see the Wednesday game and um, Wednesday lesson that is. And so I hope this helps you with your bridge game. Thanks for dropping by. Anything else to close with, Grace? Nothing here from me. Okay, so happy trails to you. Have a great Until day. Until we meet again. Thanks for being here. And those of you who got online, uh, thanks for watching it there too. Appreciate your support. And remember, we do have um, the patreon.com slash bridgehands where you can, for between 4 and $6, you can get memberships by the month now. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Happy trails to you. Happy trails. Peace out and bye for now. Have Take a great care. weekend. Bye bye. Yeah, you too. Happy trails to you until, until 